Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Your Excellency Mr. Michaelis Rokas, EU Ambassador to Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be part of the opening ceremony of the 11th University Presidents Forum hosted by University Technology Malaysia, UTM, via Collaborative Works with UTM's Strategic International Alliance, ATU-NET, as well as other distinguished institutions in Asia and beyond. I would also like to congratulate the organizing team for successfully hosting this event. It will soon be two years since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Many of us are returning to the everyday life we knew prior to the pandemic while at the same time adapting to and working with the new normal. It is wonderful to see the lineup of distinguished speakers, leaders of international higher education and strategic network, guests and participants coming together at this virtual forum to share experiences navigating through the COVID-19 crisis and to work together with the unified vision of improving the lives of students and communities around us. In line with the theme of the forum, Brave New World of Higher Education, Realities and Vision. As the Chancellor of UGM, I have observed with keen interest during the past year, how the university had put in place measures, processes and procedures to take care of our students' well-being while at the same time ensuring the continuity of their education. During the full lockdown in May of this year, I held special online sessions to communicate and have virtual meeting with the students, to hear their experiences and views, and to understand what problems or challenges they faced. I wanted them to know that they are not alone in their plight and that I was very concerned about them. As much as I can, I work with our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Technologist Dr. Ahmad Fauzi bin Ismail, and the university's senior management team in order to address issues highlighted and to offer solutions and assistance. We worked together and proposed several online activities and competitions to encourage students to find creative ways which we hoped would lessen the stress they were going through. The UTM Endowment Fund, an initiative to help students who are academically excellent but are financially challenged, has initiated other programs, such as providing B40 students with laptops, internet data plan, and monthly subsistence allowance. Recently, MMC Group's Johor Port had allocated one million ringgit to this endowment fund, and this will be of tremendous help as we try to give more assistance to the students. UTM too, in line with playing its role in helping the lives of others in the community prior to the pandemic, had implemented several engagement projects, such as providing clean water supply through membrane technology, for the rural communities in several states in Malaysia, providing free electric supplies for public amenities for a group of Aboriginal families in Porcelamoy, Cameron Highlands, and conducting capacity building programs for many communities residing in low-cost flats in Johor and other states in Malaysia. More recently, 100 B40 families in a rural area in Johor benefited from the UTM B Modular Innovation, where UTM provided both the technology for breeding stingless bees and having mentoring sessions to help these families attain better business management skills so that they can improve their financial income. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that everyone will have a wonderfully rewarding time at this for forum and will find ways to improve the opportunities created 
in the wake of the pandemic. Let this be the beginning of more impactful and meaningful ties. I hereby appreciate the ATU-NET Virtual University Presidents Forum 2021. Thank you. Wa billahi tawfiq wa hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.